Welcome to the Airbnb host guide to safety and security. In this video, I'm going to share with you some essential tips that you're going to need in order to keep your home safe and your guests safe. Whether you just started hosting or you're a seasoned guest, you're going to want to listen to this video because it's going to be chock full of tips that you can implement right away. Okay, let's get started. My name is Jamila and I am an Airbnb host. I want to give you all the tips that I can to make sure that you run your Airbnb business as best as you can. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe because I give away a lot of really great tips. Now let's go through how you can make your guests stay worry free. Let's talk about home safety. You want to make sure that your entryway is well lit and that hallways are well lit as well. You might want to invest in some of those hallway lights that you plug in to the outlet so that guests can have an illuminated path when they're leaving their room in the middle of the night to either go to the washroom or to leave the home. The other thing is to make sure that your home is well lit. Make sure that your outside light works and all the lights inside work as well. Consider having motion activated sensors. Not only is this going to help illuminate your guest path, but it's also going to deter would be robbers because when people see that an entrance is well lit, they move on to entrances that are in the shadows. You also want to make sure that you have working smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. When it comes to smoke detectors, they definitely do save lives. Again, always test your smoke detector at least once a month or once a quarter and make sure that you have a fire extinguisher and let your guests know where it is and how to use it in the house rules. Not only can this save guest lives, but it can also save your property. If there's a small fire, they can definitely take care of it themselves before having to call 911. The other thing you should do is make sure that you check your appliances, particularly your stove and your toaster or toaster oven to make sure that everything is working correctly and that there's no buildup that might cause a fire. When it comes to entry, make sure if you live in a place where it snows a lot that you have cleared the snow and ice. Invest in some really good salt and either put the salt down yourself or hire somebody to put the salt down every time it snows or right after it snows. Now let's talk about guest safety. You want to make sure that every private room has a lock. You also want to make sure that the windows can be locked, but you don't want to have bars on the window because in case of a fire, you want to make sure that your guests can escape safely. If you use a key instead of a keypad or keyless entry, for check-in, make sure that your guests have all the information that they need well before they come to your home. This is especially true if they're checking in at night. They don't want to be in a strange area with no ability to get in. If you have a security system, make sure that the guests know the security system exists. Whether your security system is outside, inside, or both, make sure that you let guests know where the cameras are pointing, for example, at the entryway, or if there are cameras in the common area. This is very important. Not only will it make guests feel safe that common areas are being monitored, but also it makes sure that there is transparency and trust between you and your guests. The next thing is emergency preparedness. Emergencies big and small can happen at any time, so it's best that you are prepared for them. First is to put together a little emergency kit that includes things like band-aids, gauze, antiseptic wipes, pain relievers, etc. Then make sure your guests know where the kit is and how to access it. Then provide clear instructions about what guests should do in the event of an emergency. Now you might think that it's basic knowledge to call 999 or 911, but if a guest is from a different country, they might not know what the emergency number is. If your home is prone to natural disasters like earthquakes or hurricanes or tsunamis, make sure that your guests understand what to do in the event of a natural disaster. Provide them with things like evacuation plans and where emergency shelters will be located. This is especially true if you have guests traveling during hurricane season. Make sure they have all the information that they need to stay safe. By following all these tips, you're definitely going to make sure that your guests have a safe stay and that you have a peace of mind that you're providing all that you can for your guests to feel comfortable and to be prepared in case of an emergency. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Airbnb tips.